Hey guys, so in this video I'm going to show you how to update the CyanogenMod Android version on your HP touchpad. Now keep in mind that this is just an update, uh, so you must have Android and the Clockwork Recovery Mod installed on your touchpad. If you don't have Android, you'll need to look up a video for initial installation of Android. And if you don't have the Clockwork Recovery Mod, uh, you should have downloaded that when you um, installed Android onto the touchpad. However, if you don't have it, uh, there should be a video on YouTube somewhere about how to get it. Or you could also just watch an initial Android installation video, and it should go through how to install uh, Clockwork Recovery. Uh, usually you install them at the same time. So, again, this is only if you have Android and Clockwork Recovery mod already. This is to update from your current version to the newest uh, release, which at this uh, current moment is 3.5. Alpha 3.5 that is. So first you're going to need to go to the Roots Wiki website uh, and the specific post for the 3.5 release. I'll have the link in the description. And if you scroll down below all the questions, there will be a list of download links. And the one you are looking for is CM7 Alpha 3.5 and then there will be a link below that. Now that will take a little bit of time to download and after you download it, uh, you will get a file which in some portion of it will say a 3.5 full of bugs zip make sure it says 3.5 and not 3.0 or 2 or anything like that uh, if it says anything else other than 3.5 you downloaded the wrong version uh, so it should say a 3.5 somewhere in that file name so after you have downloaded that you can connect your touchpad now at this point it doesn't matter what operating system you are booted into this will work in both Android and WebOS. Um, basically, you just need to get the zip folder onto the uh, touchpad. So again, it'll work in either operating system. And uh, you'll need to somehow enable uh, the USB drive. So in Android, you'll go to your notifications and tap USB connected. It'll take you to this screen where you can select turn on USB storage. And then it'll warn you that some applications will close. Just press OK. And then, uh, if you're in WebOS, uh, you should get a pop-up somewhere in the corner uh, that'll ask if you want to turn on USB storage, and you'll just prompt yes to that. So after you turn on USB storage, um, I'm going to copy this zip folder. I'm going to head over to the touchpad and go to the CM install folder, uh, which was the folder that you created in the initial Android installation. And I'm going to paste that zip folder into the CM install. And just wait for that to fully transfer. Okay, so after it fully transfers, uh, you can go ahead and turn off USB storage, disconnect your touchpad, and you are done with the computer portion. Everything else happens just on the touchpad. So now that you have that update file on your touchpad, um, you can go ahead and restart the touchpad. So I'm going to do a reboot. And I'll just do a regular reboot. And again, it doesn't matter what operating system you are in, the steps are the same. Uh, but eventually you should come to the Moboot screen. So in Moboot, you're going to scroll down using your volume buttons uh, up at the top. Scroll down to Clockwork Mod, and you're going to select it with your Home button. Now if you do not have Clockwork Mod in this list, you will uh, need to look it up online, uh, find out how to install Clockwork Mod. Uh, because you will need this for the update process. So after you highlight it, select it, press the home button to go into it. Alright, and here is Clockwork Mod. And you will need to scroll down to install zip from SD card. Uh, now, it calls the uh, second partition of the internal storage an SD card, even though it really isn't an SD card. Uh, just go along with it, uh, install zip from SD card. Again, use your home button to select. 
and then you will want to choose zip from SD card so just select with your home button and then scroll down to the CM install folder home button to select and then you will see the update CM 7.1.0 tenderloin a dot uh, a3.5 full of bugs dot zip select that and then it just wants a little confirmation so you'll have to scroll down to yes select that and it is now updating now this will overwrite your previous Android installation it should not touch the webOS installation unless something goes terribly wrong and uh, if all goes right you should have all of your apps and uh, all of your information retained. Uh, it should only change your system settings. However, if something goes terribly wrong, uh, you'll find that out when you reboot and you find that it looks like you just installed Android fresh out of the box. But in a perfect world, it should only update, which means it's changing the system files and it's not touching your settings or anything. So hopefully when we reboot, everything will be the way it was, somewhat. All right, so at this point, we can go back. And then uh, I will reboot the system. Wait for it to reboot. And we will boot into Cyanogen Mod. Just like that. Now the initial uh, reboot will take a lot more time than a regular reboot that you may be used to, so be prepared to wait a little bit longer. And here we are, uh, we are booted back to Android. So we'll unlock the device. Still loading a few of the widgets. And it looks almost exactly like uh, how we left it before. Uh, the only difference is this time we are running, or at least should be running, the Alpha 3.5 release. And we can confirm that by going to Settings. We'll go to About Tablet, and under Mod Version, it'll say Alpha 3.5. So we are updated to the 3.5 release. It should be more stable, um, maybe a little faster. Uh, you can check out the full release notes uh, on the RootsWiki blog. Now, if you are having some problems with putting uh, the Android uh, 3.5 on your touchpad, for example, if after you try to update, the device won't boot, that is a bit of a problem. There is some troubleshooting you can do. So first of all, boot back into Clockwork Recovery, Clockwork Mod. And we are just going to wipe some catch here. So first we are going to wipe the catch partition and then go all the way down to yes wipe catch alright and now we are going to scroll down to advanced and then go to wipe Dalvik cache Scroll down to yes, and there we are, we are all done. So I'll go back, power off, turn it back on, and you now should be able to boot CyanogenMod successfully. So if you guys have any questions uh, or concerns or trouble with uh, updating your version to Alpha 3.5 or any version 
for that matter because the steps should basically stay the same um, throughout the updates. So if you have any problems, uh, please feel free to leave a comment down below and I'll try to help you out as much as possible. Uh, so until then, remember to subscribe, give the video a thumbs up, uh, check out my blog, michaelbenarski.com, follow me on Twitter at Mike Benarski, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.